What's going on YouTube? Cade here from MP Tennis. Hope you guys are having a great day wherever you're tuning in from. Today we have a super fun video for you guys. It is my racket switch video. Uh, we've been talking about this in the comments section recently and we were even talk, kind of teasing it in the last video and I even talked about it a couple months back when I did my racket history video. But I have officially made the switch to the Head Extreme Tour. Now, before I start talking about all the specs of this big guy, I'm going to talk about why I switched and the, the, the demos that I tried. So the reason I was switching was, well actually let me go back, way, way back. When I moved into my Pure Arrow, originally I was using a Wilson Ultra. And if you want to go back and check out all my rackets, you can uh, click the link here above to see my racket history. But I was using a Wilson Ultra. It was, it was too, too much control and I wasn't getting enough power uh, on my serve or anywhere uh, in my game. The only thing I really liked it for was touch shots like slices and volleys. And I was heading to the Nationals that fall and I needed something that was going to be able to get my ball deeper and put guys under pressure more. So I went into the Pure Arrow and I loved it. And I've been using that ever since up until this video. So the thing with the Pure Arrow is if you guys have ever used it, it's like a rocket launcher. And if you're able to control it, it is deadly. Lots of power, lots of spin. And you know what? It's very good at net too. It's a very solid racket. However, uh, in the last couple months, uh, when I do play very good players, uh, when they hit a lot of pace to me, I find uh, the ball can spray a little bit since the racket has um, a lot of power and I'm going to be swinging pretty hard. So uh, it's a really thick beam, so there is a lot of power in this. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a little uncontrollable. And if you guys watched some of the live videos in the past, I was talking about trying out different strings, just trying to make it work. But um, the string wasn't doing enough, so that is why I moved into my new racket, which I'll be talking about in a little bit. But not to say this is a bad racket at all. It's actually a super good racket. I would recommend it to everybody. I think everybody should try this racket. Um, but the second thing is... Uh, I will be going to college at Southern New Hampshire University in the fall, and I would like to have more of a control-oriented racket since uh, a lot of those guys are going to be hitting big serves, big balls. And with my Pure Arrow, I felt, uh, like I said, it was a little bit uncontrollable, and I'd like it to have more feel. So you might ask, what rackets did I demo? Well... This was, the Extreme was actually the last one that I ended up demoing, but uh, way back before in, in my zone we went to lockdown, I tested the Pure Strike, and I was so close to getting the Pure Strike, guys. Um, I really, really liked it, uh, but then we went into the lockdown, and I had to ship it back to the demo place, so I didn't really get to keep playing with it, but I kept that one on my list and really, really enjoyed it. Um, I also demoed the Head Radical. That was also a very good frame. I didn't like it as much as the Pure Strike, or this, obviously, um, because I felt that it was a little too underpowered since I was coming from a Pure Arrow. Uh, I thought it was too much of a change since I do hit... Uh, a lot of heavy rally balls and I like to play with spin in my game and I felt like the Radical wasn't quite giving me what I wanted. However, it was still a great racket and it definitely has a place for uh, a certain player. So those were kind of the two main ones that I demoed and uh, that were at the top of my list. I did like some other ones, but I won't uh, continue talking about those. But then we came out of our lockdown. I started playing more and more. And I was like, you know what, let's do this racket demoing thing, see if it's really going to be worth it. So I got the Pure Strike, and I was like, you know what, let's give the Head Extreme Tour a shot on the demo. And you know what, I didn't even think I was going to like it, I just kind of wanted to get it 
uh, because you're allowed to de get two demos from the racket uh, demoing place that we get in Canada, Merchant of Tennis, so shout out to them. They were great uh, getting the rackets here super fast. Um, so yeah, I just added that one to the cart. I thought I was gonna like the Pure Strike. I started using the Pure Strike and it didn't feel the same. Um, it just didn't feel the same. I didn't have the same connection with the Pure Strike. I thought it kind of felt like a Pure Arrow. Um, since that, that it had, it, it just felt like the banana arrow, as I call it. Um, it kind of was flying on me a little bit. And then I brought out this guy. And I, it felt so, so good um, right out of the gate. But the one thing that scared me with it in the beginning was it had a really low launch angle compared to the Babylon frames. And if you guys don't know what a launch angle is, it's when the ball comes off your racket, um, how high is it going to be going over the net? And this one, uh, the Extreme Tour, was really low and I wasn't used to that. So I found I really needed to use my body with, like all my body with this racket. However, uh, at the time I didn't like that because I liked getting the free power and the free spin. And this racket is kind of cheap if you guys have used it. But I think... Uh, since I'm playing at a higher level and I'll be playing in college, I don't think this racket would be working for me, like I said earlier, because it's going to fly on me, and in college you can't really cheat. So, I didn't love it originally, but then I did some customizing to it. And this is where things really started to change. So, uh, I didn't actually customize my Pure Arrow at all. But before I made the switch to the Puro, I attempted to customize my Wilson Ultra to try and give it more power. So I added lead in the hoop, but I won't talk about too much about that because this racket, is, or sorry, this video is dedicated towards the Head Extreme Tour. But I watched some videos on some guys that said they didn't mind the racket uh, stock form, but once they added lead tape. They absolutely loved it. I know there was somebody that also commented in one of our recent videos that I was talking about customizing. When you customize this racket with lead, oh my god, it's it's insane. So for customization, I added about okay guys, so I actually just measured uh, how much lead I have on the racket. I know my, I knew how much it weighed, but I didn't know exactly how much I put uh, since I forgot the number. But at 11 and 2, I added uh, about 9 centimeters on each side. So 9 centimeters, 9 centimeters, and then the same on this side. And also at 9 and 3, I added about 4.5 centimeters um, on each side. So 4.5, 4.5. Four and a half and four and a half. So, um, so originally stock form, it felt a little light since this racket does come in at around 300 grams. Mine came in, or actually all five of mine came in at 304. So I got really lucky on the quality control. So that's super nice. So I didn't have to do any extra tinkering. But like I said, 304 is a little light, especially for my level. I'm not saying I'm like Rafa Nadal or anything, but I would like to have a little bit more weight. Since I was coming from a Pure Arrow Tour, that's a pretty heavy racket, not customized. So, yeah, four and a half centimeters and nine and a half. Um, I tested out uh, the different weights in different areas, but like I was saying, it was a little light and I wanted to, to, to make it more stable and add a little bit more power to it. Um, since I do kind of like the power frame. And this head extreme is actually advertised as heads like pure arrow. But I didn't find it have near, near as much power and spin stock form as the pure arrow. I actually found it to be super controlled. Um, I feel like if you're using a Babolat pure arrow, pure tour plus or any of the pure arrow line and you go into a different racket, it really doesn't compare the spin or the power that you get with that. So I thought this was an extremely good move for me because I like the power and spin that I do get from that. It was just uncontrollable at times 
And with this being strong with a full bed of poly, adding some weight to, to three and nine to make it a little bit more stable and to 11 to, and 11 to two to add more weight and a little bit more power was also super good for me. I know some people liked adding a leather grip. Um, I didn't want to do that because then we were going to be creeping up uh, potentially into the 340 ranges for me and I didn't want to do that because I was going to be too heavy, but I did add um, nine, uh, nine centimeters here on this bevel and nine centimeters here to even it out. So if I remember correctly, this came in, uh, I made the, all my rackets come in at 334 grams and my Pure Arrow stock was 338. So all in all, super happy with this switch. Um, I actually think this is a hidden gem, this racket. Um, it's, it's really, really good, especially if you're coming from um, a Pure Arrow racket and want a little less power um, and a little bit more control, this racket is unbelievable. Um, think of it as if a, a Pure Arrow and say like a pro staff had a baby. This would be this racket. All right, so actually the beauty with this racket is, you know, you can kind of customize it however you like since it comes in pretty light in stock form, uh, like I said earlier. Um, like, since I added, I wanted more weight in the hoop and add the side for more stability, you guys can do that, or you can add it up in the hoop to get maximum power, or just add it all on the handle to make it more headlight. It's a really good platform racket just in general. Uh, to just, it's just a really good platform racket and you can do whatever you want for, uh, with it. So that was one of the pluses that I looked at is, you know, when I go to university in the fall, I'm going to be able to, to add more weight, take weight off, change it around, and it still feel okay with, because with some rackets, uh, they come in pretty heavy and you can't really do much customization or you have some rackets like a Wilson blade for an example which is pretty well balanced so it's hard to customize those uh, but when you do have a headlight racket and a lighter racket in general like this one coming in at three 300 grams it's easy to customize and it's a great platform racket so keep that in mind uh, if you want to customize a racket um, but yes I love it a lot uh, I think I found a racket finally that I'll be using for many years to come. I hope they keep making this forever and ever since I really do like it. Um, but yeah, also I strung this with Headlinks Tor. That's a really nice combo I have going in here right now. Alright guys, that kind of wraps it all up from here. I'm super, super happy with my Switch because I really do like it and I think I'll be using it for many years to come. I really do get the, uh, the power and the spin from the Pure Arrow, but I get some more control, so I feel like it's the perfect combo, and I feel like I can't miss it sometimes. So if you want that combo, try this racket out. It feels good to me. Maybe it'll feel good to you. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of my Switch. Uh, we've been getting a lot of comments in past videos about rackets I should demo, um, different tips and tricks I should do. So please let me know what you think of my Switch. What customizations do you guys make with your rackets? But that's going to do it for this video. If you're enjoying the content, please consider liking and subscribing because it's really going to help the channel. And we're really enjoying doing this match point tennis stuff for you guys. So thank you for tuning in for today and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.